welcome to another Monday, which means another Squadcast. I'm Camille. Joining me is Aaron Caboose, Alex Radpuppy, and Steve. Steve. <laughs> All right. Steve. Well, uh, hey, everyone. Your, your handle is your name, so it's like I know. we got to give you what's your gamer tag? What's your gamer tag? Uh, it's uh, Tough C. Okay. Yeah. A tough C. Yeah. Like the letter C? The the letter C. That's what uh, Xbox Live gave me back in 2000. Uh, whatever be. Xbox Live came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. you stuck with it. You're one of those. I stuck with it. Because I was like, yeah. tough C, did you mean to put S for Steve? Like, nope. What? That's what it gave me. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with it. Uh, for those of you at home that are joining us, Steve is actually a contributor on our website, squadstate.com. So, Steve, I want to mm -hmm. ask you, what from your time on the website is your mm -hmm. favorite article that you wrote and what people should be reading right now uh well i put up a a couple of reviews like the last of us uh, part two ghost of tsushima uh those were really fun to do and i've also written a couple articles on like the hardest xbox bosses uh Ooh. hardest playstation bosses nice. in history as well uh i got a lot of flack for those online people <laughs> arguing with me but I'll stick with my choices. There's Wait, what was your number one? Uh, I believe one of the, uh, they were all like from software games were number one. So it was either oh. like Dark Souls or Sekiro, something like yeah. that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But well, I, uh, feel like, I, I feel like that's fitting. Uh, they're right. very hard games. So yeah. Don't hate people. Wait, don't I am, hate. I'm kind of curious. Do you have like a, a favorite from software boss? Ooh, from software boss? I don't off the top of my head, uh, but I am a I'm a diehard from software fan. I love their all their creations, but I don't I don't really know if the, I can pick one out. The giant is it the the giant monkey that you fight like four times in, <laughs> in Sekiro? Yeah, yeah that, that, like you chop off its head and it's like, wow. That <laughs> fake out. Software, that fake out was a moment. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. A so game that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. This is a good moment. I'm going to have to check out some of your uh, listicles because it sounds like they're oh. hard uh, to take in and um, make you revisit those really nail-biting moments um, that make you want to throw your controller at your TV. So I'll yeah. be reading that. Hopefully no controllers or TVs will be getting injured. Uh, but okay. today... Hopefully as well, nothing will be getting injured because we're talking about some really cool topics that we may agree or may disagree on. We're going to be talking about the Xbox series pricing and launch date unveiled. We're going to be talking about Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, multiplayer, RUB forward highlights, and GameStop closes nearly 10% of their stores. I feel like that one is definitely going to be a conversation uh, starter for us. So that's going to be interesting. Chat. Obviously, you're going to have your opinions on all these topics. So let your opinion be heard in chat or if there's some clippable moments because, you know, we're very animated in the face. Um, in the face. My eyes almost <laughs> popped out of my head doing that just now. I felt the hair <laughs> seeping in. Um, make sure you clip it and tweet us at Squad State. All right, guys, let's get started because we got a lot of topics Yes. We are talking about the Xbox Series pricing and launch date. This kind of came as a shock, right? Steve? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Go ahead. Take it away. Sure. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of came as a shock, uh, like you said, uh, last Monday, late at night, uh, industry insider Brad Sams, he kind of, well, he did, he leaked the image of the Xbox Series S uh, with an estimated retail price of $299. Uh, American uh, and some light details on it being, you know, uh, not having a disk drive, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then within like three hours, very late at night, unprecedented move by Microsoft, they came out and confirmed the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, our, uh, that's, that's it. That's the image. That's our console. Uh, price is correct. And uh, by the following morning, they, they released uh, additional information like uh, the specs and all that. Yeah. And then after that, it felt like the floodgates were open at that point. And uh, they revealed the Xbox Series X pricing, the release date, November 10th. And uh, that pre-orders go live September 22nd, so not too far away. So yep. landing uh, here, Xbox Series X uh, is priced at $499 USD, which translates to $599 here in Canada. 
uh, Xbox Series S, 299 uh, or 379 here in Canada, which I will say, not bad on the conversion rate. Canada's coming out on top here. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's as actually, good as it can be. <laughs> yeah, it, it's yeah. as good as it can be. Before we get into if that's what we kind of expected for pricing, I know we've mm -hmm. kind of spoke about it before, um, but I want to just talk about the fact that Xbox. Can we just say, usually when leaks come out, the developers or these companies really lose in the situations because they don't get the jump for their audience. Yeah. But can I say, Xbox came out on top because the memes that they put out there while this leak was floating around uh, late in the night mm -hmm. were golden. So I want to know from you guys, is this a leak or possibly planted leak i don't even which Whatever. i don't Instantly. planted leak i don't know what to put there <laughs> you're thinking I, I i know what you're saying you're thinking yeah. like, is this like is this like the deadpool thing? movie situation sure. yeah. <laughs> is um, this something that could have been marketing or was this uh, an honest leak or how do you think that they handled it overall Whatever the hell it was, <laughs> finally somebody yeah. says something about how many of these consoles are going to cost. And because Xbox, whatever the situation was, whether it was an intentional leak or not, because they finally budged and they let people know how much your damn console is going to cost, PlayStation was like, okay, fine, fine. This week, we'll give you something too. Like, Do you think that's what God. it was? Do you think PlayStation totally like because xbox made their reveal was like okay i guess we have to come out with this now because it takes a lot of time for them to package these digital reveals right, right. so yeah. i feel like especially with the xbox one whether it was a marketing ploy or a honest leak i feel like they were just around the corner from actually unveiling it and xbox was or playstation xbox and xbox. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure yes. xbox yes. was playstation probably had their was aware aware that that was coming or you know maybe xbox knew playstation was going to reveal something soon and yeah. xbox was trying to like i feel like there is more communication that happens either directly or indirectly that we know we're getting this news around the same time yeah for sure. I mean, there's definitely people behind the scenes, whether it's through like a, a through line from PlayStation, Xbox or Xbox to PlayStation, where they know what's the what's the going ons between each company behind the mm -hmm. scenes. Like there's no way somebody at PlayStation and the higher ups would have like not known that this Xbox announcement was coming, you know, and, yeah. and same vice versa. So I imagine like, yeah, even had it not leaked, whether that was intentional or not. That Xbox announcement was coming very soon. Um, and the same with the PlayStation. I don't think the PlayStation, I don't think them announcing that they were doing something this Wednesday was completely reactionary. But I'd like to imagine that because Xbox finally just came out with their prices, the PlayStation was like, okay, let's move this up. They pushed you know, it right? up. Let's, yeah. let's, right. let's get this out sooner than uh, than later and announce these pre-order dates and, and prices and all that stuff. And I honestly, I still don't think we see a scenario. Just talking in general about the prices, where that PlayStation digital console ends up matching the Series S's price. Like no. Series S, no way, not a shot. The the all digital, and I'll tell you why the difference is, because I think the all digital version of the PlayStation 5 is pretty much the PS5, but no disc port. Whereas right. the Series S is still a bit of a different console. It's not as powerful as the Series X, and it's an all digital console. So there's a lot of different factors with the Series S versus the Series X than there is between the all digital PS5 and the actual normal version of the PS5. But my thing is, I don't feel, and I, I think I said this when we were talking about the reveal of the Xbox. Um, mm -hmm. I don't feel if you're going to have a budget console. You mm -hmm. want it close to the price of your actual console. You have to make that a huge shift and you have to make it competitive on the market. They know that it's going to be, is it, it's $599, the, uh, sorry, the um, uh, disc, the Xbox Series, Series X is $499 yes, uh, American. $499 I think it's $599 American. for us. $599 for Canadian. Yeah. I feel like that discless version of the PS5 has to be around that price point. I understand oh, what you're yes. saying. Because the Series X, S, I'm getting confused with the namings, <laughs> but um, it doesn't play like the backwards compatibility. It's not actually playing enhanced backwards compatibility. Right, right. Which is weird. From the Series X, it'll actually be playing it from the um, 
like this gen uh, Xbox. So yeah. that's that, that's kind of weird. Um, but I, I feel like PlayStation, if you're going to put a console out there, and I don't know why Xbox didn't make this choice, you want it to stay for next gen. Like to go back on the compatibility, uh, it, 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 it seems counterintuitive. Yeah, that's definitely a weird thing. I agree um, that there's no enhancement on the backwards compatibility. Like the, it's not the one X enhancements that they're getting right for the series. No. S. That's oh, so weird. I, to think me because actually the one, I think it may be the one X, but it's not the series X enhancements. I mean, that's, that's right. okay. Yeah. Okay. So it has the enhancements of the one X that you get of for the backwards one compatibility, X, but not yeah. the series X. <laughs> so many just, weird names. Oh, oh I know. Actually, and just to break it that was just like so many iterations of the Xbox sound <laughs> exactly the same. Uh, and I hear yeah. you, it trips me up all the time. What <laughs> That's part saying? of it. Yeah, I was just going to say, just to kind of break it down, because it is a lot to go through, the Xbox Series X and S uh, do have a lot in common in terms of like the CPU, GPU, but then when it breaks down to like the teraflops, I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, the Xbox Series <laughs> X only has uh, 12 uh, teraflops, while the Series S has four uh but then when it comes down to the target resolution which is why uh we're talking about backwards compatibility series x yeah. can do 4k 60 frames per second up to 120 while the uh series s is only upscaling uh it's okay. naturally 1440p so it's not native with, yeah. exactly um so you're not getting those in xbox series x enhancements so yeah, I mean, uh, again, the 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 big talking point here is just that the Series S is friggin' cheap, and on top of all this, one of the best things that Xbox is doing here is, um, first of all, they're bundling EA access with the uh, with Game Pass, which, which is a huge, mm -hmm. huge move. Um, and then second of all, they're doing payment plans. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you can get the Series oh. S or the Series X under a payment plan. I'm not exactly sure how much it's costing per month for both, but I know that that is going to be an option that a lot of people are going to want to invest in because especially with the climate of the world, with everything that's mm -hmm. been going on for the first nine months of the year, clearly some people have been not in the most, the, the greatest financial scenarios. And if they want to get their hands on the next gen consoles, well, forking over $500 on the spot is not going to be the easiest decision for a lot of people. But throwing in $30, $35 a month and to get the console right then and there is really good that is a very pro consumer move and i feel like that's something as well we're probably going to see sony and playstation follow suit on because otherwise this could be a really close race at launch mm -hmm. yeah there's there isn't exclusives for xbox that's understandable playstation still wins on that right now uh, until 2021 until who knows when there aren't going to be a lot of exclusive games for the xbox but if i am just a general consumer and it's between getting the new PlayStation at a base price of potentially 500 US and yeah maybe having those exclusives versus going for a monthly payment plan to get some cool next gen games that are multi platform on Xbox I would probably lean towards the Xbox I don't know maybe I'm not the best example because I'm a huge Marvel geek and like I want Spider-Man <laughs> so like right. I would still go for PlayStation but I feel yeah. like in in the eyes of a general consumer the the way that Xbox is kind of structuring this whole release is is really good mm -hmm. yeah no i feel like no xbox because we've discussed when xbox revealed um the series x officially we spoke about their hardships going forward in next gen yeah. especially in the console mm -hmm. market they completely flipped it around with this pricing the payment plan bundling ea play like it is the best deal in gaming so far now that we know, though, that this you could get a Series S for four ninety nine American. Mm -hmm. If the PlayStation discless is around the same price, people were expecting to pay around a thousand dollars for next gen. We may just see a whole generation of gamers that will have two consoles. Console wars ending, yeah. maybe, maybe. No. <laughs> Not a shot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but but that being said, Camille, I'm pretty sure that the digital version of the PlayStation is probably going to cost somewhere closer to $399, whereas yeah. the the normal PS5 will be about that same. Like they're probably going to match the price on the Series X at so uh, $499. At 
And um, like a lot of people, the speculation was that originally the digital versus the non-digital version of the PS5 was going to be like a $50 difference. But mm -hmm. because of the huge move from the Series S yeah. being $299, they probably had to drop it down another $50. So I think they're probably going to go $399 for the digital version, uh, digital version and then $499 for just the base PS5, which again, it's it is a is a really good price. I thought that these consoles were going to cost a lot more, considering yeah. how close to the power of a PC they're inevitably getting to. So the fact that they are around that four ninety nine price point is, in general, like it's it's a big win for for gamers. And you you do make a good point, Camille. A lot of people were probably expecting these things to cost upwards of like seven eight hundred dollars. Yeah. So the fact that they ended up at the price point that they did might make a lot of people want to get both consoles. So we'll mm -hmm. see. I don't think it's ending the console wars, though. <laughs> so I, I, that's well, not happening anytime soon. Will 2020 <laughs> just kick off or finish on a really good note of ending console wars? Probably not, no. unfortunately. It's going to be something yeah. like completely There aren't enough... Words. <laughs> there aren't <laughs> enough smart people in the world for... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the other thing I'd like to add on to this is that, uh, yeah, the really low cost of the Series X or S uh, makes for a great way entry point for people to come into the Xbox ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, something that really hasn't been seen in the industry before. Usually, you look at last gen, people were paying upwards of $400, $500, depending on uh, PlayStation or Xbox. Something like this, like you get into the Xbox ecosystem and... There's so many different options. You've got Project X Cloud, Game Pass on PC. Once you yep. start getting in there, that's exactly X, uh, Microsoft's model right now is just to get you in there, start getting you to play these games on Game Pass wherever you want. And I think yep. for people who may not be in the financial situation to pay $500, $600 for a top tier console, just to come in at $300 is, is pretty, pretty compelling, I got to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like I think, you know, Microsoft is very aware of where they stand in the console market. They know mm -hmm. that uh, PlayStation holds this legacy within gamers, has those exclusives like uh, Aaron mentioned before, and they know that they have to win people over. And they their plan is to win them over with making it affordable, making gaming mm -hmm. accessible and affordable. And yeah. this is honestly the great way for people who have never owned an Xbox before to get an Xbox to sign up for Game Pass if you don't know what's out. Let's be real. There are great games coming out um, that people are excited about for the PlayStation 5. We're getting mm -hmm. Spider-Man. But a lot of those other exclusives that people are looking forward to or new IPs like what's going to replace Uncharted, um, we don't know news about. We won't be expecting them till probably next year or the year after. So that is yeah. lots of time to win gamers over if you're Microsoft mm -hmm. saying, look, we have a long time yeah. before PlayStation starts showing off their exclusive Let's win gamers over by giving them a library of games that they could play at launch. Yeah. Uh, and you, you're making an excellent point. I think at launch or just in that launch window for the PlayStation, correct me if I'm wrong. I really got to think about it, but I'm pretty sure all we got is Spider-Man. We know Spider-Man, Miles Morales is coming. Um, and then Ratchet and Clank. All right. Mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank. And what Crash. else do we have? Crash Bug 4? Snacks. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, play, PlayStation's winning. PlayStation's winning. Right? <laughs> that, that's the killer um, app. Yeah, they, uh, they I mean Spider-Man's a heavy hitter, Ratchet and Clank mm -hmm. could be a heavy hitter. Um, Bug Snacks is is just that's gonna be crazy. That's that's gonna be all the talk of the town. Game of the year. Um, game of the year, most likely. Uh, but yeah, until like next year, we aren't I don't think we're getting Horizon 2 until we're, 2021. We're not we don't even know um, what God of War will look like. <laughs> you yeah, know we don't. We don't know when that'll come. There has uh, been mention of Demon Soul, the Demon Souls remake being uh, right. Oh, yeah, being, uh, it's, uh, yeah, in the window. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's that. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, they showed a couple of games that were still like really far off in that original yeah. presentation Godfall. a couple of months back. Godfall. Yeah. Godfall I'm you know, excited. I, I like hack and slash. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of DMC, so I'm excited for that. Godfall. And every time I see it, it just looks even more pretty. The the most excited they got me for Godfall was when they announced they were doing some Borderlands content for the game, and I was like, okay, all right, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, there's there's going to be some time. And I mean, I do. I am hearing like rumblings. Not that I I'm hearing from insiders or anything, but I'm just seeing a lot of speculation online that there might be like an Uncharted Five 
uh, announced. And this this and upcoming would, PlayStation that, presentation. Yeah, that would, would be make huge. sense because of the movie that's launching. Would yes, you know what game? exactly. Will it be a reboot or will it be like a younger Nathan Drake? We'll we'll have to see if that reverses. Oh, that's a good right? that's a good question. But I don't see Naughty Dog being like, okay, you guys are making the movie like this. Let's make a game to follow no. suit. It, I, it it'll have had to have been the other way around. Right, no, you know? actually, money speaks. So I could see Naughty Dog being like, okay, we definitely want a game um, to have the integrity that we've had from the previous games. Your game is taking place during this time frame. That's really cool to explore. We're not doing that story. You mean the movie? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, the movie. Sorry, um, but we're gonna explore that time that the movie takes place. So when Maybe. it's younger. Uh, Nathan Drake. I but can I see them feel like, at the dollars. I feel like Neil yeah. Druckmann kind of wants nothing to do with that movie. He wasn't even like asked. He, he dropped out. I'm pretty consultant. sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure he consulted at like the first script, but then stopped. Yeah, now I got to catch the Last of Us. <laughs> well, I mean, that's at least he's got the Last of Us that he is fully on board on. Like he is yeah. he's working with the actual showrunner, which is great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with the with the Uncharted movie, it kind of it feels like he was kind of pushed out. You know, yeah. I, I, like I have a feeling that he probably had some opposing ideas and like, yeah, no. uh, hey, listen, I created this franchise and <laughs> uh, listen, I am 99% sure that that Uncharted movie is not going to be good. If it ends up being like anywhere remotely good, then that'll be a huge surprise. I'll be you know, I could see it being OK. Like I could see it I being like, like no like, game movies are good movies. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I don't think those were horrible. I don't think that they were the greatest. They were okay. Um, I could see um, Uncharted movie being that, especially with Tom Holland. I like the dude. He's cool. He's Spider-Man. Why not? Yeah, but do you want an Uncharted movie that's just okay, or do you want it to be spectacular and on the level that the games are? And right I think now, with the rate of video game movies sucking out loud, I would settle mm -hmm. for it being okay. Let's go through 10 movies that are okay <laughs> and then start hoping for extraordinary video game movies. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd take 10 okay Sonic movies and then let's get to good Uncharted movies, you know? <laughs> I mean, a wise man once said it's going to be okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh right. Okay. Uh, uh, an excellent this, point. This Xbox News definitely is going to be an exciting F it's going to be even more exciting when we know what to expect from PlayStation's reveal this week. Yeah. Uh, Pushan, Carl in chat says, uh, you don't know if you talked about it. We have. But Xbox All Access is also really cool. Paying $24.99 uh, Xbox Series S or $34.99 for Xbox Series X is awesome, really accessible. And it's, yeah. again, just making that point of accessibility with gaming um, and console gaming. Alex, you haven't... You don't have any of the consoles from this generation, correct? I actually or... have a PS5. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. You have yeah, the new one. Pro, I yeah. knew they sent that out to one person. And <laughs> I figured it out. So, also, I've been a little is... distracted because Steve's got like a little chunker just kind of walking around. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking I, I can't think straight. I just know, like, what's their name? But but I you're hearing this news. Them. You're hearing this news about the Xbox and all that stuff. Like, how does it like? Does it entice you to maybe want to get a console, or are you still like, nah? Honestly, uh, probably not. I just feel like <laughs> between like PC and and the Switch. I mean, I kind of want to get a PS. Or I don't even know <laughs> what what the name of the the new PS4 is going to be or P, uh, PS5. PS4. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the PS6, <laughs> PS Infinity. I don't even know. We're skipping. Yeah. At this point, it's just like Steam and PC gaming is just. It's like everything usually ends up on there, so I, I usually just don't care. Or someone except else will have it, like, and then I'll play it. Right? They don't end up on PC, except with Death Stranding, of course. We got that, but but that you bring up and a good Horizon. point. Um, yeah. If it if it is like you don't see those exclusives, right? Um, but remember, for Xbox Game Pass Unlimited, you get that on PC as well. So would you buy like the budget version of next gen? So a Series S at three ninety nine, um, or, or sorry, two ninety nine. Yeah. The Canadian price that is messing me up. Um, two ninety nine, <laughs> um, and that Game Pass just to explore those options. I mean, yeah, it's not too bad of an idea. Like I could definitely see people going for it. Um, 
it's just they're so they're just throwing so much at you so quickly with like so many different kinds of games. So I mean, I'm just being really honest and pers- like personally honest, and probably like mm, probably not, but oh. I could see the average gamer going for it. Well, I mean, to be fair, you wouldn't even have to purchase a console. You could just sign up for Game Pass oh, and okay. have access to that on your PC. Yeah, actually, I was going to ask yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, like, again, that goes back to the point of they're just building an ecosystem. They, uh, right. In all honesty, I really don't think Microsoft cares if you buy the console. They just want your subscription. They just oh, want they you to play games. Yeah, now. they do want that subscription, but they also care if you buy a console. Um, they made it clear that they're not leaving the console market anytime right. soon. I don't think this is just going to, you know, if this console flops, which I don't think it will, I don't think this will be their exit from consoles. They will make another gen. So they need the numbers, right? They need to yeah. win people over. Mm. They may want people to first sign up for the subscription, warm up to the idea of, Game Pass Xbox playing on these uh, services so that it could warm you up to buy a console. You know, like, I think they're just like, instead of you going to the store and buying a console right away, they're like, let's earn your trust and yeah. what we have to offer. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, make a good point. I, I, I mean, actually, I think they are kind of transitioning into this more digital age where, like, everything is streamed. You just have, like, full access to things right away as long as you pay the subscription. Right. Uh, not necessarily that they don't care about their consoles, but I feel like they're probably banking more on the subscription service than anything else, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Just because that's just how things have been going with like everything. Right. Right yeah. now, for sure, that's what they're, that's going to be their bread and butter uh, yeah. until, I mean, even when Halo comes out, they want Game Pass to be the uh, kind of the end game for Xbox. They want, yeah inevitably for their console and and their games to to live there uh because i mean it's a great service no doubt about it but also you know subscription services you you drop your five dollars in there and maybe you don't touch it any game in there for 12 months but you forget to cancel your subscription so you're forking over five dollars every single month and yep that's uh that's the way that stuff works you know i have a i have a kind of serious question okay Mm. what happens if you pass away, like what happens to your subscriptions? Oh my God. <laughs> I've always wondered this. Like stop because your credit cards shut down. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But if they just shut down like right away, what if you don't, they don't even know that you, you have like a family member that would like be three months. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like how, how could they possibly have a handle on that? Oh my God. <laughs> They're just Netflix. I accounts. guess we'll find out. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> that's probably how they make most of their money. No, I'm just kidding. You're the best. <laughs> um, SRV in chat says Phil Spencer said that they won't measure the success by the number of consoles they sell this generation, but by the number of Game Pass subscriptions yeah. they sell. Mm-hmm. And he may say that, but if you're putting lots of money on consoles, they want the numbers too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, facts but i'm probably going to be i think the the three of us excluding alex who's still wondering how subscriptions (laughs) (laughs) i see her brain just (laughs) figuring away like how how does that work um i i I, I believe we're probably all going to get an xbox especially because we work in gaming right yeah Yep. I mean, inevitably, I was my my plan. Uh, just as as a content creator who covers like the superhero gaming stuff, uh, mm-hmm. is is to get the PS5, like, which with whatever means necessary. Like, I got to get the PS5, and then I'll <laughs> worry about how I'm going to get the Series X afterwards. Right. Um. So, but but I mean, oh, inevitably, I do want to get both. Wait, was that? Is there no PS5 yet? <laughs> There is no, not yet. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were messing around when you said that. Anyway. That's a pro. <laughs> I thought when you said, Oh, I have the PS5, I was like, Oh, okay, she's messing around. She doesn't got anything. <laughs> I like that. Okay, no, I have a pro. Pro. I got the PS4 Pro. You there have the PS4 Pro. Okay, okay, yeah. I cleared it up. Nice. Yeah. Well, also, the PS4 <laughs> Pro, now that Alex brought it up, as that's the console she has, um, that's pretty much what the series. S would be because the PS4 Pro, it doesn't play. Um, it just, uh, it's not like. It's just like an upgrade. Slightly. It's, 
the mm-hmm. upgrade, the graphics are just um, like boosted up. It's yeah. not actually inherent in the con, like for the console itself. Um, yeah. So that's how the Series S, right, Steve, would work. I I would argue that that's more like the One X. That would be the the comparison. The, series, the thing is, the Series S still has an SSD. That's what. Yeah. That's, that's why it's still true. very much a next fully gen. upgraded console. Yeah, it's it's very much a next gen console. It's a ne- essentially it's a next gen console that's not catered to people who are invested in 4K. Well, uh, no, I think that's, that's, the- that's what I'm saying. It's the next gen. Oh, I see. Pro. Right, it's not like the equivalent to PlayStation Pro because PlayStation rushed that one, and then this, mm-hmm. you know, the Xbox Series X. Uh, dang it, these one words, X. oh man, yeah. Yeah. letters came out, um, and it just demolished <laughs> the Pro, right? So I feel yeah. like the Series S is kind of the next gen for Xbox PlayStation Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's um, a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, you guys hear about the Xbox Series V rumor? Series X huh? design without the disk drive, uh, Mr. Torrent says in chat. I, I hope to God that's not true. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not. <laughs> it's a poor it's Photoshop. That's all it is. It's just too it's, many, man. Poor pho- Photoshop. Uh, series S, Series V, Series S. Like, I got to go through the whole I alphabet? <laughs> no, they're just sticking to the end of the alphabet, okay? We have a... I guess. B, C, B, C, 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 y. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Enough's yeah, enough. Def- enough's enough, but not enough of the Xbox. Definitely want more of the console. Want to see more, especially from the Series S, because yes, indeed. Um, I-, I hope there's not too much of a difference visually um, right. to mm-hmm. the standard console. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,